I wanted to tell you about a brand new urban sketching kit that I just got from Derwent. And I think it's pretty cool and pretty unusual. And I wanted to just kind of play around with it and you know, see what we all think. Okay, so let's check it out. So here it is. It is called the Line and Wash Paint Pan Set. I think this particular configuration really is available in America. I think this is a slightly different version in Europe, but it's got some really unusual things. First of all, it has this really nice painting here by my friend Jedediah Doré, who's going to be teaching a workshop for us soon, but we're not going to talk about that yet. Um, but I do want to talk about what's in here. So so there's these two markers, line makers, an 03 and an 08, which are both, that's a good range to have when you go out. You can draw nice big heavy lines and you can draw details without getting too persnickety about it. So an 03 and an 08, those are good um, size. But let's have a look at what is inside this box here, which is this, and it is what looks like an ordinary paint kit when you first look at it, right? It has um, 12 pans. It has a little foldable water brush. It has this thing for cleaning and it has, but when you start to look here at, at this, things start to look a bit different. And I'll explain why, because this is a, again, standard paint set. You know what, it, what it's like, it has two, you know, couple of reds, couple of yellows, couple of blues, a green that you'll never use, and, you know, maybe, a, I don't know, black sometimes. It covers all bases, but this is really a, a paint set that's designed to allow for creativity in a way that I've never seen before. Um, it combines three different kinds of paint, so not just a bunch of different colors, but also different kinds of paint that function differently. So I want to have a look at how that is going to work. Let's let's get this out of here. I've got some nice watercolor paper here and let's try it out. So I'm not going to use their brush. I'm going to use one of my own if I can find it, which is all right, I'll just use this one. So let's try first of all ink tense um, pencils, watercolor pencils are made by Derwin, and I've always really loved those. They have really amazing colors. But what's also interesting about this paint when it's watercolor is something that I'm going to show you in a second, which is when it dries, it it's almost um, becomes permanent. So you can paint over it without reactivating the lower color. And we'll check that out in a minute. So there are several of these ink tense colors here. So that first one is called Sun Yellow, and this one is called Mango, and this one is called Poppy Red. It's not exactly the same lineup as the uh, guide there, but the guide, but you can also pop any of these pans out and you can move them around and rearrange them. And then it has a bright blue, it's also ink tense. Nice bright colors, right? Really bright, cheery. Again, for urban sketching, nice, really nice colors. The kinds of colors you might see in a city. Um, what else do we have that is ink tense? Uh, ping gray. Ping gray. Incredibly useful color. Nice neutral gray. You can use it in all kinds of different things. Let me zoom down here a bit. Show you more closely. And I think there's one more, which is, I think it is Meadow. Yeah, I think it's, is, no, no, it's Natural Brown. It's brown. So those are all ink tense colors. So really bright and semi-permanent. And then there's another range of colors that, um, Derwent makes, which is called graphite. Is it called graphite tints? Is that what it's called? Can't remember the exact name. Let me check it out. Graphite tint. Graphite tint. So let me show you what graphite tint colors are. So they're sort of more neutral. Like this one is. Um, it's not correct. 
This is called um, Autumn Brown. And what's different about these, these uh, graphite tints is they actually contain graphite. It's actually graphite inside the paint, which makes for a certain kind of granulation that is pretty unusual and different. Um, this one is port, I think this is it. This is port. I think it is port. Seems to be port, yes. So these are quite rich, but also kind of more neutral and quite beautiful color. And then um, what else? Ocean blue. That one is bright blue. This is called ocean blue. See how they're sort of very neutral kinds of colors? Again, useful for urban sketching. You might paint cars and street signs with those colors, and you might paint brick and metal and glass with these graphite tense ones. And then meadow. I mean, that's not the normal green that you would see in a standard pink kit, right? It's, it's a really nice, much more natural looking green and actually quite useful. If you had to quickly paint a lawn, that would be a great color. And then finally, there are these two sort of pastel kinds of colors. You can see right away it has a bit of white in it. You can see that coming up and seems a bit more opaque. And there it is. It's, it has some white in it, as I said. And then finally, the storm gray. Also, feels more opaque. So you can see a real difference between these three different kinds of colors. This pink gray, I think I can make it a bit thicker, a bit darker. Yeah, that's more rich. So you can see the difference immediately between these top two tiers with these two pastels and then the more sort of translucent and also you can see the granulation. You can see, let's see if I can zoom in on that even more. Let's see if I can get in there closer. See all that granulation in there? That's the graphite creating all that texture inside there which these ink tense ones don't have. This blue has a little bit of it, but these are less so. These are just more pure color, pure pigment. Really nice to have. And um, now let's try, let's try, these are dry. Oops, oh, no, typical, okay. I managed to spread some of that paint's gray onto the yellow, but let's not freak out about that. Let's take a bit of this poppy red and just put it on top here. You see how it's not activating the yellow? It's completely covering it. If I want it to. That's pretty unusual. But that's what Inktense offers. That kind of a thing. So let's try. Let me try another. Let me try uh, yellow. Okay, fairly light color. Let's see what happens if you put it on the blue. You seeing some through? You seeing that it is here? Um, whoops! It is transparent, like watercolor should be but it's not activating that blue. It's the tiniest bit. I think that's because it wasn't fully dry. But again, that's really useful because it means that you can paint something, paint a sky, for instance, and then paint a building on top of it, and you will not be activating that sky. 
so that it starts to mush in and blend in with the building. So, so I think that's a completely new thought when it comes to watercolor sets. Something that's going to, I think, be really interesting to use as an urban sketcher. It's all super portable. You know, it's this all, all fit into your bag really easily with a small watercolor sketchbook and go anywhere. You can capture the textures of the materials that the buildings are made out of, but then you can also capture the bright colors of cars, signs, people's clothing that make the city come alive. So it, uh, I think, will lead to lots of interesting effects. If you get this set, I'd love to see what you do with it. Um, and if you want to see what uh, Jedediah Doray does with it, join us for his upcoming workshop at Sketchbook School called The Lively City, in which he's going to be using just this set and nothing else to capture the streets of Brooklyn. It'll be really cool. That's coming up. See you soon.